Do I regret purchasing the Yeezy Gap Season 7 shirt because I bought it too small? Or because this orange is just looking like something that's on a glue stick or something? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. You watch a high tide jet, ride the tide, and subscribe. Today, we have the Yeezy 7, whoa, Yeezy Season 7 long sleeve t-shirt from Los Angeles Archive. This is the orange colorway. It's a little bit lighter than I thought it was going to be. I mean, maybe it's just me. Maybe, maybe they did. Uh give an accurate representation of how it's gonna look. It just, it literally looks like the top of uh, a bottle of glue. That's the closest orange I could think of. This is a size small, has the season seven tag. I was worried that it wasn't gonna have the tag. A lot of the products in Los Angeles archive is labeled imperfect. And I think they're even stating that some items will not come with the tag. So that is absolutely devastating. That happened to me when I purchased the Dove hoodie. I got an extra small, it didn't have the tag on the back. It had like the little tag like down here, but it didn't have one over here. I was devastated. I ended up selling that hoodie, but I did make a video on that. So if you did not watch the Dove hoodie video, go ahead and check it out. It was a pretty fire hoodie, I'm not gonna lie. Anyways. We're talking about the season seven long sleeve size small guys. I'm gonna tell you right now. Well, I'm about 5'6", 160 pounds. I should have went with a medium. This fits a little more true to size. If, you've, if you wear Yeezy Gap Yeezy, you know the sizes are all over the place. An extra small could fit like an extra large. An extra small could fit like an extra small. It just depends. Um, but yeah, this is a size small. It fits okay, but if you wash it and dry it, it's over with. Should have went with the medium, but anyways, let's go ahead and throw it on. This is what you guys clicked on the video for, so uh, yeah, let's get it. Three, two, one. All right, so there you have it. Season seven long sleeve. And just so you guys know, these are the navy blue sateen cargoes. The shirt I was wearing before this was the long sleeve Yeezy Gap t-shirt has a little mock neck as you can see with this one there is no mock neck it lays flat the mock neck didn't have the cuffs at the end of the sleeves these do again guys this is a size small I'm about 5'6 160 pounds the orange is very light orange it's almost like a, in a way like a washed type of orange Size small, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's true to size. Let's do 360. Three sixty arms out. Thumbnail time. Not do the arms cross. All right, that's enough with the thumbnail. Anyways, long story short, uh, I mean, I got it because the price was all right. I think it was like $25 with shipping and everything. It came out to like 30 something. Uh, it's getting cooler in Florida. It's still hot, don't get me wrong, but I just wanted to take advantage of a good price for an Easy Gap product. Easy Gap usually is good quality stuff, especially for cooler temperatures. They have a lot of items, long sleeve t-shirts, even the short sleeve t-shirts have weight to them. It's just good fall, winter time clothing, so I took advantage of the price. Should have went with a medium. I believe they still have items available on Los Angeles Archive for the season seven. Um, but I'm not like super blown away by it. Kind of reminds me of something you can just find anywhere, honestly, like Uniqlo or whatever. The orange, uh, 
I'm just not like an orange type of person, especially this type of orange. It's just like, I don't know. You guys let me know. Do, do, you, are, do you guys have the, uh, do you guys have this shirt? And do you have this color? I need to check out the other season seven colors. But this is the one that, well these pants actually looks not bad. I don't know. I just feel like I look like a construction worker. Anyways guys, what do you guys think? Please let me know. I'm planning on selling it. I, I think I'm planning on selling it because I feel like it's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I kind of wanted something a little bit bigger. So I could easily sell this and just buy a medium. But then it's like, do I like the color? Is that why I don't like it? Or do I not like it because of the size? I think it's both. I think it's both. I'm so used to just like gray, black, white, navy blue. Although I do like the red perfect hoodie. Something about the blue hoodie I don't like that much. I thought I was going to like the blue more than the red, but I end up liking the red more than the blue. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. Season 7 Yeezy long sleeve, one more 360, why not? It's a quick video. It's only one shirt. Figured I'd do a video on it. Uh, I'm sure someone else has done a video on it, but why not add to the algorithm now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, man, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it does fit good. Maybe the color is all right. You guys let me know in the comments. I'm always second guessing myself when it comes to stuff like this. But for the price, not that big of a deal. You could probably sell it on Depop or eBay and even make a profit. I like there's a lot of people still unfamiliar with Los Angeles Archive. You'd be surprised. A lot of people I know personally never heard of it. It's like one of those things, if you know, you know. So uh, if you're watching this video, you're in the know. Anyways, guys, that's all I got. Nothing much to this. We'll be dropping NBA content. I know I said that in the last video. It's just with the NBA content, I like to do it at my computer, with my other camera, with my other mic. It's just a process. It's just the editing is different. With this, it's just more straight to it. Turn on the camera, boom, boom, boom. It is what it is. Da da da. I don't know. Now I'm just rambling. Anyways, guys, that's all I got. Like, comment, subscribe. More videos on the way. I appreciate y'all for watching. And I'ma holla at y'all later. Peace.